So welcome to the permaboss embossing debossing slideshow. I just want to show you how it looks when you take a dry wicking that would normally pucker when you can deboss it and get multi dimension out of it. So there's no backing on this. This is just hit and run as you want to call it. It's a very fast process. It's somewhere between 12 and 14 seconds on most dry wicking garments. I just wanted to show you a few different angles of it. This is on a Trimark product and you are able to make a die when you start making them in groups on a fill up a page for approximately fourteen dollars a die the average setup in the market is typically seventy five to a hundred dollars so if you're looking at this look at the detail on the wing the registration mark the tiny uh, word golf club or the fine details those are total nightmares for embroidery and many many people we meet at the shows won't even touch this no, notice the leaf and the, the detail on the decoration. As you go in, look at the underneath diamondback, the fine line, the golf club. These are just things that are impossible. This is more three-dimensional. It's larger, almost the size of the palm of your hand. But you've got multi-levels in it, and it's just made with the die very simply. And that's on the center of a back, but uh, near the yoke. So completely impressive. This would have a backing on the inside. This one is on a soft shell jacket. Look at the outline of the word Huskies in the detail. Something that might take 15 to 18 minutes to do on an embroidery machine and have the ugly backing on the inside is taking you only 14 seconds on this jacket and you've got something that's really stunning looking. Because you've got the fleece on the inside you have more puff or more dimension to it but still there's no backing on this. Stormtech's well known for doing uh, embossing over the years and you can do very simple very clean decoration with outlines without any problems whatsoever and this is on the yoke this is on polar fleece so now I've got a multiple dimension this would have a backing because I'm stuffing the raised area unfortunately our home team hasn't done anything for 45 years and it has nothing to do with the embossing of course it's just that um, they are one of the most successful financial teams anyways off track here so back to the embossing you've got something that would be not profitable or feasible or people really want to pay for that much when you're doing traditional embroidery. Back to dry wicking, you're debossing this one, there's nothing on the back and I thank you for your time.